Hey, welcome back. For those of you that watched the unboxing, for those that didn't, just welcome. This is the uh, day one of the build of the Mayflower. So I've, I've done a couple of things already. I've uh, obviously taken out all the frames and the keel um, out of the, the sheets. These sheets are on one of the plans as they are here. Uh, all I've done is I've, I've put numbers on them from the plans so we know where everything is and we don't get mixed up. So we can put those out of the way for now because I've, uh, like I said, I've taken all those out. Um, what I've also done is I've got some bits and pieces here to make up a, a baseboard, something to work on. So I'll just put all these away for now, try and keep them in order. One thing to... This board, something to work on to keep the keel upright, make sure everything's straight and in line. Which I've got here. The Victor had a big board and I had these brackets on it, which are uh, just normal brackets from the uh, usual DIY store. Screwdriver would be good. <sighs> I forgot the screwdriver. There we go. So we'll just put one of these on in the centre. Get started. as per the instructions 1 through to 14 Those level is more important than that because that will be chamfered off 
the last frame there, number 14, that's the one that's at, at an angle. So we'll shave the top off, but we need to get that uh, for the steering resume, something to do with the rudder. They need to be level rather than the top. That's the framing. Well, the first part of the framing done anyway. Didn't take long. Square and level, all in line, here, perfect. And it's slightly out, but I think it's a step, it's a step, so there's a slight curve on the deck there, it makes it look like one's sticking up too far, but it's a slight very slight curve. Okay, we'll let that set and come back and do a little bit more. Okay, so we're back. Let that dry a little bit. We're back now and I've got some more of the next pieces, which is 15, 16, 17 and 18, as it happens. Glue all of my fingers, maybe it look like a leper, but that's nothing unusual. I always get like that. Uh, we'll just trim these tabs off. Sand it down later, but just trim them off anyway a little bit. Okay. But it's telling me at the bow end to glue pieces 15 and 16 fur. I can do that. at exactly the same height. There could be a little discrepancy at the bottom there, up and down, but uh, as long as I get them both at the same height, I think we'll be all right. Taking that in a line, if you can see through that external corner there, if I chamfer that off so it's in line with that, it's, it is going to be about right if you look at that radius. So we'll put it in there anyway. Thank you. 
Okay, that's that side. Can't do any more now until that's all dried completely so I can start sanding. So uh, we'll leave that for now. Thank you. 